Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be drawing and <clears throat> creating crickets, drawings of crickets, springtime drawings. And this insect is really fascinated, fascinating and I just wanted to show you some of my earlier drawings. Now a cricket has these really long antennas and they rub their wings together to sing. They rub those wings together. They actually have ears on the front of their legs, which is amazing. And of course, a cricket is an insect and has three sections to its body. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Crickets also have these really strangely long back legs that seem to appear to go backwards, like their knees are back here, they come down, and that helps them hop so high. All right, and you can see I have a cricket here. I've added a little part of a bee, the sun, a flower, the ground. I'd like to show you a few. Oh. This one's a little simplified. Got a nice flower in the front that is sort of cut off. You just see part of it. And really big eyes. I kind of enjoy this one. Chirp. This one's in the night sky. Jumping. I think I need to paint or color in this star. There's a few stars. And this one is sitting on a flower with a really long, wonderful antenna. And I have a little spittle bug here, a big flower petal. Well, boys and girls, we are going to start our own drawing. All right, boys and girls, you may want to start with a pencil so you can have an eraser. Today I'm starting with marker because I don't think you can see what I'm doing very well. All right, so we're going to start with the head. I'm going to draw my Cricut very large, so it's kind of a close-up. Here's its head. Just made it into a, like an egg shape a little bit. You can make it circular, you decide. I'm going to have those nice eyes like an Eric Carle's book. Kind of big eyes. Give it a little character. And I'm going to have mine half shut. You don't have to. Kind of like that look. Makes him look a little sleepy. And he, you can only see half of his eye. His pupil. And I'm going to give it a tiny little face. Of course, they have those really fantastically long antennas, which can go in any direction. I might have this one curved this way. <laughs> now we're going to create the thorax, which is like the chest area. We have one in our body too, our chest. And I'm just going to make it kind of like where I show the back and the belly and just cut it off there. Thorax abdomen, kind of like its belly. And it's just going to continue. There we go. And I'm just going to add a fun little detail. I saw in Eric Carle's book. I don't know how accurate these things are, but that's okay. It's a piece of art. I'm going to add a couple wings. You can decide the shape of your wing. I'm going to have like little wiggle marks as if this little cricket is trying to make some sound. All right, maybe I will draw something in the foreground here, possibly a little hill. Maybe a couple little leaves coming out. <clears throat> We're going to do some overlapping, so I might draw another leaf and then a little half of a leaf behind that shows that this one is in front of this one and maybe this here. This almost looks like a rose. <clears throat> maybe I'll keep it as a rose. 
Here's a little leaf down here. And you see how I have this one in front of here, in front of that, so they're all overlapping. Maybe here, I'll show a little leaf, another leaf. I'm trying to make them kind of large. And I'm gonna show some behind it. All right, let's put those legs on this fantastic insect. I'm gonna have about four coming out of the thorax and two of the long ones shooting out of the abdomen. So their legs come in sections. So I'm just gonna draw the first section. One, two, three, and four. And I'm just going to make them into little rectangles. And then I'm going to add the second section. One, two, three, four. You see how they look a little bent now? And I'm going to add little zigzaggies. Somewhere on here they have ears, believe it or not, on the front, in the front. They have additional ears. And I'm going to make the bottom of their leg. As if they're stepping under this little piece of earth here. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Don't forget, we have to have five, six. And <clears throat> the back legs are so fascinating because they go backwards and the knee is way back here. So your leg, our legs will look very strange if our legs were really large moving backwards with our knees on the back side. So I'm going to have one start here. I'm going to go up. And I'm going to show the second one going up. And then I'm going to have it go down. Almost like a zigzag fold. <laughs> down. I'm going to stop here and continue. And I'm going to make their, the back legs kind of long you can't see them all. You can't see the entirety of the foot. And I better put him on something. Maybe he's standing on a little part of a, I don't know, sandy hill. And then they have these little markings on their body. I'm just gonna do some little rectangles. Make this leg a little thicker. And you can add all sorts of other details other insects, flowers, bees, the moon, the sun. I can't really fit the whole sun in, so I'm just going to do just a little scoop of it. I may make that the moon. Hmm, I have to think about that. And I wanted to show overlapping, so I'm going to make some more leaves that are in front of each other. So you try to make one object in front of the other somewhere in your drawing. So I have these leaves, and now I want to draw more leaves behind it. And if I have a rock here, maybe I'll add a little rock. I'm going to draw a little rock behind it, just a little bit of it. Here's a little cloud, and maybe I'll draw a little cloud behind it. Practice your overlapping cloud here, little cloud behind it. And I'm almost ready for, should I do a flower? Maybe I will. I'm going to um, create a tiny little flower here that's supposed to be in the background, but I'm going to try and overlap some of these little petals. So this one's in front, and now I can only make part of the others that are behind it. And here's the little leaf, stem, coming down, and a leaf coming up, just a rectangle, oh, not a rectangle, sort of a triangle that's long. There we go. Maybe little textured lines like polka dots and zigzags to make the picture more interesting. He looks really sad. <laughs> and some more details. In these leaves, maybe I'll draw the veins to add some texture. You want to have points of interest for people. Don't want it to be all the same. Leaf, veins. There we go, I think I'm ready for color. This was a fun drawing. And Eric Carl inspired me to make crickets with you. And of course,
springtime. So don't forget, insects have three sections to their body, six legs, this one has antennas, they have eyes on their front legs, they have a head, a thorax, which is like a chest area, and an abdomen, which is like a belly. All right, boys and girls, enjoy yourself, add color, make sure you have things that overlap, you show a cricket, and possibly maybe some other insects around. I might make a little ladybug if I can fit her. Oh, here's a rock behind the flower. Ooh. Once you start overlapping, it's so fun to keep going. Thank you, boys and girls. Enjoy yourselves.